Hi you guys, so it's been actually like four years since I've shown you a hugel culture method in a large uh, container. So I use, as you know, I use these stock tanks as above ground garden beds. They were here when we moved in and um, I've been using them for a variety of things and this year. Um, this one over here really got overgrown with onions and it was a horrible, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. So I dumped the dirt out and now I'm starting over. And what you see here is a bunch of water from the rain last night. But I've been filling it up just with um, kitchen compost, coffee grounds, oranges, uh, some paper toweling, regular food and that kind of stuff. I've been putting that in the bottom. And what I'll do next then is fill it up with larger size pieces of just tree limbs that are falling around here. If uh, this was a bigger above ground bed, like, like one of those over there, you could even put stumps or big pieces of rotting lumber. You could put regular uh, rounds in it too if you wanted to, but that's too good to waste on a garden when I'd rather burn it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, dump this compost in there and then, well, this uncomposted potential, I guess it's potential compost, and then add these uh, larger sticks and then we'll go get some more stuff to put in here before we add the dirt. This is a way to fill up space so you don't have to use all dirt because that can be expensive, right? But the other thing is, is as this stuff rots, it's going to feed the soil from the bottom up. And um, that will allow you to basically make your own compost underneath the soil and it will feed up to the top. And that's how every one of these beds was made. And you can see now these are um, filled with some bulbs, but most of this, oops, sorry, is uh, asparagus. Asparagus. It's kind of hard to see from up here. Bring it down to this level so you can see there's asparagus everywhere, right? It's all over the place. Different ages of asparagus are different sizes. And actually, I'm going to do a video in a few minutes on this because um, I am going to plant some more asparagus seed in here. Since I removed all those flower bulbs, I have extra room in here, so I'm going to fill it up with some asparagus seed, but that's another video. So, um, yeah, we're going to start over there and fill up the bed, just like these were filled in. Obviously, it's working, right? By the way, before I get started, I should mention down here right in there, that, that's a big hole, a drainage hole, and you can actually see that the water is now draining out of there because I added a couple things and it raised the water level. So this water doesn't stay in here, it actually drains out there as all the beds do, so there is drainage in the bottom of these beds. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding logs and bark and whatever else I can find. And now I have a whole gob of leaves, mostly oak, because that's what I have mostly here, some maple. And hopefully they will fill in all the cracks or some of them, you know, we'll see how much the leaves uh, help. But they're, you know, you can pack them down so they're still pretty light and fluffy, but I don't want this to be like packed super tight anyway, right? Um, I'm going to plant a uh, flower mixture in here so the roots don't need to really get down. And really in three years, if we dug up this whole thing, you wouldn't even see any of these sticks anymore. So let's get to spreading some leaves. All right, we got the leaves in. And I can still press them down. So we still have, I don't know, four inches that we can put dirt in, but again, this is all gonna fill in between the sticks and stuff. I mean, I could sit around here and press it down. Um, 
and get it down lower but it will do that naturally with the rain it's raining right now so now I'm gonna go get some uh, topsoil I had a bunch of topsoil but I didn't have it brought in we went to, took the trailer and went and got it so um, it's actually uh, potting soil so I'll come over here and top her up So we're out here in my uh, back field areas is where our burn pile is. But I wanted to show you, this was what was in that stock tank uh, that got so overgrown with um, onions. You can see all the onion roots. I mean, they've been in there for years and years and years. But remember how much sticks and leaves and stuff we had in there? We had that in here too. And you can see this is what's left so let's say five years five years that's all that's left everything else has turned into dirt and it is packed tight oh there was a stick in there do you see that i just pulled that out of, of the in there so most of it is gone um anyway so there's your proof it there's still some in there but most of this stuff is going to go ahead and just turn into uh, soil. So it will disappear. It may take a little while, but um, it'll disappear. And while it's disappearing, while it's molding and rotting, it's feeding that soil. So you can do this hugel culture technique in huge beds. Um, you can do them in, in, in above ground gardens if you're going to be adding a significant amount of dirt on top. You can also do it in little pots. So just put in a lot less and the same theory will work. The same rotting will take place. So if you're doing a small pot, you know, you only put in a few sticks and maybe a few leaves. But I've done it um, with some big, huge pots too. You guys know I have what I call my onion seed garden. And that's where I keep my onions from year to year and I just let them go in this pot and uh, I don't harvest them at all. They come up, they bloom, I collect the seed and that's what I plant every year for my onions. And this is also got hookah culture on the bottom of it. I did it to about up there and then the rest of it's dirt. So just because a pot is small or it's a pot doesn't mean you can't do it. And of course, like I said, I did it in these big ones, but those have like stumps and huge limbs and stuff in it. Anyway, it's a great idea, it saves you money and it's just a great technique this one has it in there too but look how the dirt's disappeared okay so anyway we uh let's go get some more dirt and fill up that stock tank all right so now this is ready to go and be planted up so it's just that easy so in the fall when we get ready to put this uh above ground garden bed the stock tank to bed for the winter bed to bed it will probably sink a few uh, several inches down and I'll cover it with mulch and then in the spring I'll bring in more topsoil or potting mix or whatever I have on hand and that's what like I said I've been doing uh, with all these beds for years and it works great I put my asparagus in here because when you plant asparagus they live for about 22 plus years depending on how well they're taken care of but you can't really move them so you want to put them somewhere where they're going to just be left alone and when you do that then you get beautiful big big asparagus and this is one plant and you can see there was one two three four but this is five and six that i've gotten so far from that one crown um, but if you keep digging it up and moving it then you just end up with these small little wispy things that are no good but anyway i'm going to plant this with some wildflowers try to get those pollinators in here um, but that's the end of this video on hugo culturing a an above ground garden bed or stock tank or container whatever you want to call it so 
next we're going to plant this up. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any questions. Have any questions. All right, bye.